Hello friends, uh, in this uh, video I'm going to do uh, probably two examples uh, that were asked um, in Cambridge International Exams of in, uh, advanced level maths or pure mathematics and uh, yeah okay so this was I don't remember the year so <clears throat> this is paper number three pure maths and you're only allowed an electronic calculator okay but I'll be using graphic calculator to check whether what we got is right or wrong okay so let me start with the first question <clears throat> okay, the question is find the set of values of x satisfying the inequality modulus of 3 to the power x minus 8 is less than 0.5 giving three significant figures for your in your answers okay so <coughs> now before uh, moving on <coughs> excuse me <coughs> to understand this let me give you an example before I start doing this example suppose you have a statement like this suppose modulus of x is less than 2 means <coughs> whenever you have the word uh, whenever you have modulus uh, or absolute value both are one and the same you're asking the question which are the values of x uh, for which the distance from 0 is less than 2 so what do I mean so let me draw a number line say this is your number line okay and say this is your number line so this is your 0 so you're asking the question which are the x which are the values of x for which the distance from 0 is less than 2 so I will say well if 2 if you take 2 and negative 2 on this number line this 2 is exact this negative 2 is exactly 2 away from 0 and this 2 is also exactly 2 away from 0 so, but my question is which are the values of x for which the distance from 0 is less than 2 so that I can say then <coughs> they are those these values of x okay so these values I miss the, the red these values of x are for where for which your x value is less than 2 so this can be rewritten this means x has to be less than 2 all values which are less than 2 uh, and and also x which is greater than negative 2 so this area can be described as or these numbers on the number line can be described as these numbers are less than 8 less than 2 and also greater than negative 2 so that's the basic foundation or the basic understanding of modulus okay so now using the same approach my, our question is modulus of 3 to the power x minus 8 is less than 0 0.5 so using the same approach for which value would for which value of x is the modulus of this less than 0 0.5 so using the same approach I can say 3 to the power x minus 8 if it is less than 0 0.5 and 3 to the power x minus 8 is greater than negative 0 0.5 I'll repeat this modulus of x is less than 2 means it is these values of x okay now these values of x are less than 2 and greater than negative 2 these values are greater than negative 2 and less than 2 so the same approach let me use a thinner pen so what will happen now so now to basically to solve this this 2 so I can say okay 3 to the power x is less than adding 8 to both sides would be 8.5 <coughs> now whenever you have <coughs> excuse me the power as x one of my teacher used to tell me hit it with a log 
So we have to take log on both sides. So I can say log of 3 to the power x. You can say also take also natural log. Uh, log of 8.5. So applying the uh, log rule, I can say x log 3 is less than log 8.5. Now dividing both sides by log 3, x is equal to log of 8.5 divided by log of 3. So x is equal to, let me get the calculator out. This is, though it's a graphic calculator, I'm using only as an electronic calculator. So I can go log 8.5 divided by log 3, which is one point. We have to answer in three significant figures. So it is 1.95, okay? So that's in three significant figures, 1.95. So x is, sorry, less than 1.95, not equal to, let me delete this, it's less than, <coughs> so x is less than 1.95, we will confirm this, so this is in 3 SF significant figures, so this is one answer, okay, let us do the, solve the other equation, so the same approach, so 3 to the power x is greater than adding 8 to both sides, it will be 7.5. So, so you can say log of 3 to the power x is greater than log of 7.5. So x log 3 is greater than log of 7.5. So dividing both sides by log 3 so you can say x is greater than log of 7.5 divided by log of 3. Again, I'll have to use the calculator. x is greater than menu run log of 7.5 divided by log of 3. So my answer is 1.83. So x should be greater than 1.83. So this, this is again in 3 SF. So x is greater than 1.83. So let us write the answer together. So, so you can say x is greater than uh, greater than 1.83 and less than 1.95. So all the values of x between 1.83 and 1.95 satisfies this equation. So let me show you on a graphic calculator how to check this. This is only for fun, only to see whether what we've got is right. So you go option number. This is absolute value of 3 to the power x um, minus... 8, I think so. Uh, let us graph it. Okay, so this is your graph. So the question is, when is this less than 0 0.5? So I'll go GSOL and go XCALC. So I'll put 0 0.5. It should be less than 0 0.5. So this is 1.83. Okay. So it's one point, the next value would be 1.95. So if you press scroll, you get 1.95. So between these two, uh, the values of x, the we get the solution of the equation. So I think we, I'll do the next question. Uh, this is this question in the next video. See you in the next video.